Alright, this is going to be the last recording for the night because it's now midnight and it's actually tomorrow. But, I'm in the mood, so we'll do this. The materials, we were looking for our tile bitmap. And everything has disappeared. Great. Oh, that's why. 3D bathroom refs. And I'm trying to find the right tile one. I'm almost positive I took one somewhere. Interesting. Oh well, that's odd. Well, I think there's a preset somewhere, so look for tile. And there we go. Tiles. Discard old map. And it boom, apply for floors. Look, tiling maybe three and three. Nope. Two and two. Should do it. 1.5 and 1.5. That looks a bit better. And then just increase these things so you have some squares. Maybe some maybe 1.7 and 1.2. So we can get that last little line in there. Um that'll be good for now until we can find where that missing image went. But Let's do a quick render here. I'm actually going to um, oops, bring this final gallery down to draft, just so that it goes a little faster. Okay, kind of the wrong angle, but fix that in GIF. Zoom in a bit here. Render. No one cares about our tile, so our tub material looks like it's pretty good. Plastic material now. Let's take a look at that. Just gonna do a render of it. Let's see, I'll do Can I get that in there? No. Okay, so we'll just render this one out. Waiting, 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 waiting. And yeah, that looks really good. Really good. That's almost exactly what it looks like in the actual picture itself. So, those basic materials right there are a go. Let me just. QZ. Okay, pause for a second. But I press render. And. Yeah, there's a bit too much reflection on that, so we're going to give that one the um, event material. Assign to select. What? Okay. Give this the event material. Just that. I hit this. The pause button on Camtasia is F9, which is also the render button which causes some problems, because I like using F9. Alright, there we go. Very nice results. We have our um, switches there. Not many reflections, but there are still little subtle ones in there. Um, if not, we can always bump it up, but they're there. So, that looks good. <coughs> All those things are nice looking. Let's just assign the molding material to the rest of the molding here. Just so that it goes all the way around. Molding. Molding. Over here. And there's one last piece in here. 
Okay, there we go. I'm just going to quick look at that. We'll do a close up right here without pressing F9. Actually, I want to make this one a bit better. Turn the anti aliasing up and the final gather up. And I'm going to just pause it right here. Alright, um, the rendered image is right here. You can see we have some very nice reflections here in the tub. Um, the specularity right there on the sides. We also have the crown uh, molding right here, which um, doesn't have very many reflections. It's very wood like. Um, well, we haven't added lights in yet, but we will do that later. So I'm liking all this stuff. Just like this tub here. And just Let's see what that looks like, actually. That's a lot of polys. So what we're going to do is delete this mesh smooth. And use the NURPS NURBS um, sorry, right in here, and render iterations, we're going to put to 4, but display we're going to put to 2, just so that we can work with it a little bit faster, and we don't have to deal with all the uh, extra stuff. And let's see here, let's just add a little ceiling over here, plane. Give it um, that material as well. Rotate it 180 degrees. Okay. Next, let's add a little camera inside there so we can see what's going on. We're going to use a free camera, I guess. There's actually going to be a door here eventually, but. Alright, actually, let's use the target. Well, target free target. Yeah, free. Hmm. Okay. So rotate ninety degrees. Ninety degrees. Okay, press E in here. And Alt W make this, let's just make this on the camera, and just bring it in so we can see what it sees, bring it up a bit, and let's see, shift F is uh, save frames, so we're not actually seeing all that much, huh. maybe it's because the render is too small. Does this change anything? Not really. What we really need to do is just go back. Mm. Well, that's some other time. Okay. F3, select this, name it ceiling. Can't even spell now. Nope. I should call it top. Okay, and okay, kill everything else. Hide selection. All right. Um. Yeah. In the next lesson, we're going to do something. I'll cut out the doors. Yeah, we'll just start right now. Box. Just kind of make a door shape. Bring it out. Sink it in. And we're only going to make one for now because it's going to be the exact same size in the other place. However, select this over here and make it an instance. That way, when we um, change the size in this, this one will change. See you in the next part.